everybody. I am doing a second attempt at a Christmas gift for my son-in-law and I'm running out of time. I tried. He likes, he's got like goldfish and fish tanks and that. So I wanted to make just something with fish in it. So I made this, I don't know what you call it, something to, I don't know, put whatever on. Kind of a coaster, kind of bigger. Anyway, and I got those, oops, I already messed it up. I've got those um, those goldfish stickers and so I put those in it gives you like the 3d look and a few problems I made the blue too dark because you can't really see the fish that well enough and also with these stickers they're cool but you can see a bit of an outline of the the plastic around the outside so last night I got I had some more and I <laughs> very painstakingly trimmed off that tiny little uh, you probably, I don't, yeah, you can see it, I think. Just see that little border around the fishies? You can see it. I don't like that. So I trimmed it off with my little wee scissors. <laughs> so hopefully that'll give a better effect. So I picked up this glass dish. From, I forgot to start my video when I started, so I'm catching you up. So I got this glass tray at the, you know, disc, the thrift store. And I mixed a bit of resin with some white sand and put it in the bottom and then I put some rocks and shells in and a little pearl in the shell so that's where I'm at now and so I'm going to mix up some resin and do the next layer so I use magic resin I find it works good and it's a good price so I'm going to do that so I just need for the each layer I think I need about I don't know what that is I think that's it looks like a two ounce cup so there might be an ounce in there so I think kind of you know once I combine them it's two part resin I combine them mix them then um, I think that's probably the right amount for each layer so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna mix this resin and then I'll come back and I'll show you how I put the first layer of the goldfish down okay back in a minute oops I don't think my video is recording so Anyway, what I did is I put a little bit of resin down in the two spots where I want to put the fishies and you have to be careful to kind of line it up right so that your fishies gonna stay in the you know, right spacing. So I put a little bit of resin down and um, got the bubbles out and then placed the first part, the bottom one, number one of the uh, fishies. Yeah, my video wasn't on. Ah, I hate when that happens. Okay, so there we go. So now I'm, so I put a little bit of resin down, just a little dot, got the bubbles out, put the first part of the fish down, and then now I'm pouring the rest of that resin layer over. Probably could have made some more resin for this layer, but it's okay. I'll be making lots of layers. I'm just going to spread it out a bit to kind of cover it. And then tomorrow, or maybe later today, I can do the next layer. What I use, I don't remember what I said in the video clip when the, or the, when the video actually wasn't on. But I just use, I use some um, food coloring. In my resin just a little drop I like food coloring when I want a clear translucent so that's what I use to tint my resin when I want it to be you know really clear like for water or if I want to make glass if I'm making light shades and that I just find it works it works the best okay so that's good just want to make sure no bubbles are popping up looks good I think my position is still good I'm just going to check one more time well, I can still move it. So here's the rest of those things. So line, line those up. The biggest problem is this one. This is the next one. I have no idea where that's supposed to go. I'm going to guess it goes there. So I just want to make sure. Yep, that works. So that's where that fissure will be. And then this one. His eyes are there. That one's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. Okay, so we're good. Everybody stay where you are. <laughs> okay, so we'll come and do the next layer either later today or tomorrow. It'll all look like 
in 10 minutes when you watch the video. <laughs> okay, back soon. Okay, we are, oh, I don't know, five hours later, four hours later, five maybe. And it's set enough. I mean, it's still not, you know, completely cured, but it's good enough for to do the next layer. So I'm going to put down a little bit of resin. And I was impatient and I did not let, I didn't, normally when it's cool, and it is cool now, uh, I think I'll do this one first. I uh, I warm up my two uh, separate parts of resin in like a warm, I just put it in warm water, the cups, two separate cups in warm water, and that helps with the bubbles, but I'm in a hurry, <laughs> so I didn't. So you see how the resin's really cloudy? It's got a lot of bubbles in it. It's okay because I'm doing such a thin layer and I'm just gonna have to torch it a bit more. So that's what happens. So let's torch that little bit there. Try and get all the bubbles out. There we go. So now I can put the next sticker on. And I've already kind of checked to see where it needed to go. So I will put it down. Oh, I should have got some toothpicks. Uh, let go. Okay, let me grab a toothpick. move it around into the right spot I gotta check again the next one is going to be this one this is number three and that's gonna go like that yeah so I think that's a good spot for this I'm just gonna tap it down I want to make sure I don't get any bubbles popping up. Although it wouldn't be the end of the world in this. So that looks good. And this is the other fish. Which one is which? Okay, so this must be number two. So let's put some resin down on top. Just a little bit of resin on there. And torch it, get those bubbles out. A lot of bubbles there. Ooh, don't burn it. Just, I don't want it to be cloudy. Next time I will be a good girl and Heat up my resin so I need to place it right on top and this one's a lot easier because I can line up the eyeballs the other one is a bit of guesswork so I'll just stick get it into place here get the body lined up get the eyeballs lined up I think he needs to spin a bit That looks good. Get that all tamped down really good. There, it's all good and lined up. And you know what? This time I did not tint the resin. I left it clear. I'm just so afraid of making it too, um, too blue. I don't, I don't want to repeat the same mistakes I made with the last one. So I'm, oh, I see little bubbles poking up there. So I'm just going to leave it clear. The rest of the layers, I think, I'm just going to leave clear. Okay, so there's that. And then, and then I will put the rest of this resin just over top. And it's going to take a lot of torching because I was a bad girl. Um, might as well cover the rocks now, I guess. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's go on. 
all going on. I'll spread it out after. See all the bubbles? Ooh. And take a lot of torching. Okay. I'm just going to get one coating of resin over top of that. It's all going to even out. It's a nice thing about resin. Self-leveling. Which is great as long as your surface is level. <laughs> but that looks very cloudy. Okay, so now let's give that a good torching. Watch how it clears up. That's cool. Come on, clear up. <laughs> A lot of bubbles in there. I'm going to stir that around a bit. I got to get all those bubbles out. No good if I can't see the fishies. going to take a fair bit of torching. I probably didn't save any time by not uh, heating it up. <laughs> so now I'm going to have to keep torching it over and over and over again. So I'm going to keep an eye on this and I'm probably now for the next 10 minutes or so I'm going to have to keep torching it. To get rid of all those bubbles and then I'm gonna leave it overnight and we'll come back and do the next levels three more levels I think three more layers to do okay we'll be back okay second last layer second last layer so I'm gonna put those on the last the last layer yep okay so we're doing the same old thing so let's put, get the big guy done first. Cover him up. Good. Get a little torching. Get all those bubbles out. Okay, number four. Ooh, am I gonna get stuck to it again? I have my tweezers, let's see if that works. These are those opposite tweezers. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm not coordinated enough, so you squeezed it. There we go. Oh. There, if I do that. Ugh. Okay. So I'm just, now it's not so hard because I can match up the eyes. Let go, let go. This drives me crazy. <laughs> it's stuck. Oh no, I'm doing it the wrong way. <laughs> oh. I'm a disaster sometimes. Oh, okay. Let go, let go. Oh, broke my toothpick. There, okay, got her. Okay, now I can move it into place. So now I just have to line up the little eyeball. Get all the bubbles out. His tail is flipped up a little bit, but that's okay. Even if it sticks out, that'd be kind of cool. Make sure it get pressed down really good. I wonder why that's doing that. Oh, I guess because when I trimmed it and that. Okay, I'll come back and make sure he's straight on. Oh, 
My shop door keeps blowing open in the cold. And there we are. I think later today, because it's only about 11 o'clock, I'm here till 4, so later today I should be able to put the last layer on. It'll be set enough, you know, that I can get the last one on. Yeah. And then tomorrow it'll be all done. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, the last day. I just put my camera on like two times magnifying. I should have had that going the whole time, but hopefully you can see a little bit better. Okay, ready for the last layer. Okay, so, and I gotta remember, I wanna put some of these guys on. So I'm gonna do that first so I don't forget. So I gotta think where I want them. I think I'll put a, a few right there. There. Nice. Hmm. Just looking at the colors. I think I'll put this guy. I didn't trim around these, so hopefully it doesn't wreck the look. I don't think it matters so much for these. Ah, here we go again. All stuck together. <laughs> ah. Okay. Pretty cool. Hello, come on in. You're gonna hear me chatting away back here. I'm just making a YouTube video, so <laughs> you carry on. <laughs> I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> well, I kind of am, but. <laughs> Okay, so this is the last guy. Put him right there and I can line him up. Oh, don't stick down. No, 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 don't stick. I think there wasn't enough resin underneath that little wing to make him movable. I need to make him movable and make sure that I can line him up. Okay, I think that looks good. So cute. Oops, okay. Yeah, that looks good. So if I can just get it to stay there. I think that's good. Oops. Moving around. Okay, I think that's right. I think that's good. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Whoops, I want to make a little bit of uh, white kind of ripples. Forgot about that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to, with this little bit of resin that I have left, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of white. I'm going to get all these bubbles out. It's the last layer. I, a little bit of. Um, do I need my heat gun? I'm not sure. A little bit of white. Um, so what do I need? I need some white paint. Sorry, probably can't see. That's just such a tiny bit. I can barely mix it. But I just want to put some little 
I hope this works. Just kind of, ooh. yeah, that's it. Just some little, like, uh, I don't know, what do you say? Like little water marks, little wavy things. Yeah, I like that. Kind of a little bit of water coming up around the rocks. Just a little bit. All right. I think we're about done. I just want to make sure the resin is moving around and making a nice even. A nice even top layer, you know. I need to spread it out a bit there. Come on down, come on down. Little alcohol wipes. Just wipe it off. It comes right off real good when it's when you just put it on, but you let it harden and it is there for life. <laughs> Looks like I might have missed a little bit the other day because that's hardened but it's not really visible. There we go. Okay, so now we just have to wait for tomorrow. It'll be all, yeah. I'll have to see if I can get that little, little bit of, little stringy bit, I guess, when I was pulling it off, but it's fine. Okay, yay, can you see? I love it. Almost. Yeah, it does. The fish even has a shadow on the bottom under the light. That's perfect. Okay. All right. So tomorrow morning, we'll finish her all up. We'll come back and I'll show you the absolute finished, finished one. And there it is. All done. They look 3D-ish. <laughs> so this is, this is for my son-in-law, Pete. Best son-in-law in the world. And they have a den that's um, got a great big wall hanging of goldfish. Plus, Petey likes some, um, he's got big goldfish tanks with these cool fish in it. So I thought this would be nice to put on their coffee table for him to throw all his remote controls and stuff in. So I hope he likes it. Merry Christmas, Pete.